Okay, so in this tutorial, I would like to show you how to make the front side of your card change when you look at the back. So as an example, let's say that we're studying Japanese, and let's say that we are studying sentence cards uh, in Japanese with English definitions on the back. So let's say our Japanese sentence is, is this, and let's say we are defining this word. So if you study the sentence, for example, let's say that you know every word in the sentence except for this, and that's why you're making this card, and that's why you're putting the definition for this particular word on the back. So you could just have your card be like this. Of course, you could also just have it like this, but then you might forget which part is being defined. Um, you could do this, and it would show you which part is being defined. You could also, of course, uh, do something like this, but Let's say you want this appearance to the card, design-wise, and but the thing is, what you don't want, you don't want it to be bolded when you actually look at the original, like when you're doing your studying, you don't want it to be bolded because let's say that kind of gives you too much of a hint with your memory, oh, this was the sentence where I was supposed to learn this word. Let's say you want to see the sentence as this, but Okay, so you want to see the sentence as this, but once you look at the back, you actually do want to know that this is the one that's being defined. So the way you want to do that is you go into cards, and then what you want to do is on the back, so by default, your card should look like this if you're using the basic note type. So um, you just have the fronts, actually this can be that or that, it looks like. Um, but anyway, so you have um, the front of the card, and on the back, you have the front of the card just show up again. But let's say you actually want the front of the card to show up differently once you look at the back. So here's the second version of the front side of the card. So if you have all your cards look like this, I mean if you have all your uh, notes done like this, then you can actually just have it do that. So when you look at the card, it's not bolded, and once you do look at the card, it becomes bolded. So now your cards will show up this, like this. So it looks like that, and then when you click it, it'll bold it, and then you know which one is being defined. So, um, even if you're not studying Japanese, even if you're not studying languages, um, this can still be useful just as a general idea. That's how you can make your cards such that the front of the card actually changes once you look at the back of the card. I think this particular, um, or this way of setting up your cards has a lot of, um, has a lot of, what would you call it, promise or a lot of um, potential for uh, various ways of creating elegant Aki cards. So that's it for now.